So, we were discussing the effect of geometry on the value of crystal field splitting. We have seen in case of uh, coordination number 6, coordination number 4, that is octahedral and tetrahedral. See, in case of octahedral, the ligands are approaching along the axis. And along the axis, d orbitals feel more repulsion, there is almost a head-on collision between them, you can say, and uh, there is more degree of repulsion, fine. But here, as they are in between, they are in between the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis, so repulsion felt will be somewhat less. Moreover, it is 6 ligands will have more repulsion, 4 ligands will have less repulsion, and therefore, repulsion in octahedral will be more, and there will be more value of splitting energy, right? There is a relation form delta t is 4 by 9 delta naught, which shows that delta t is always less than delta naught for consider it same metal and same ligands. Fine. So this is one factor, geometry of complex. Another factor we have is the nature of ligand. It has been found that if the metal and the same oxidation state, same metal, different ligands are coordinated, they show different properties. So that is, we have discussed in BBT, it was observed. So this is due to different ligands. They have different amount of splitting, depending upon their charge, depending upon the atoms having the negative charge, like that, depending upon so many factors, uh, which is called strength of the ligand. So different ligands have different energy uh, splitting. Powers, right? So there is spectrochemical series which decides the uh, splitting power of uh, different ligands if coordinated with the same metal, right? So in general, it is found here that uh, this is the series. I have taken it from NCRT book. This uh, series shows that in general, halogens are towards the end of the series. I negative, for example, B are negative. They have very less splitting. But as you go towards the uh, other end of the series you see that uh, the crystal field splitting goes on increasing as the ligand changing in this direction fine so these ligands are considered as a strong ligands in general strong ligands and somewhere here are considered as a weak ligand but this is not uh, a correct uh, experimental uh, uh, saying that these are strong or these are weak. Basically the limitation of spectrochemical series is that there is no clear cut distinction, there is no clear cut line which says that after this are strong ligand and before that are weak ligands, right? So this is one of the limitations, but in general carbon monoxide, cyanide, thylene diamine, bidentate ligands are very strong ligands, fine. So stronger the ligand, stronger is repulsion and more is splitting. Weaker the ligand, weak field ligand, right, there will be splitting value will be less, right, for the same metal in the same oxidation state. So this decides most of the properties of the complexes, right. Now, we will having the next topic now, that is the properties of complexes which are explained by CFT. So, we will have next one. properties of complexes explained by CFT. So first I will take up, uh, sorry, first is high spin and low spin complexes. Fine. We have found here that if the metal sometime coordinating with one ligand, sometime coordinating with some other ligand, one time it is a low spin complex or it is a high spin complex, right, depending upon the electronic arrangement, right. So we will try to answer that question here. So if I consider here, I will make a table here. Uh, here it is the electron uh, configuration. If, case one, if, if ligand is a strong field that means more value of delta second case if configuration if the ligand is weak field fine so let me consider if the configuration is a d1 or d2 d3 let's take the case of d1 right in case of uh, D1, we know 
Crystal field splitting considers the d orbitals of metal in the splitted form. Now they are no more degenerate. Fine. So suppose uh, I am taking the case of say octahedral. I am taking the case of uh, octahedral field. So we know the splitting in octahedral field is like this. Fine. So this is the splitting. Splitting will be more in uh, strong field. It will be less in the weak field again fine so if the case is d1 then we know while filling the electrons the electronic arrangement of the metal in the complex will be like that so electron will occupy the lowest energy first right to give a uh, stability to the complex fine so it will be occupying this which level t2g this is eg fine this is the configuration if the configuration is a d2 oh, okay sorry now, if this is the strong field ligand case, if it is a weak field ligand, then only also it will have the same configuration. Clear? So, whatever is the ligand for D1, the value, the sorry, the arrangement, electronic arrangement is fixed. Fine. And orbitals, uh, those empty orbitals, they are all are fixed. Na nature of ligand will not affect it. For D2 also, 1, 2. Here also, 1, 2. Similarly for D3, arrangement will be 1, 2, 3, we know singly filled, 1, 2 and 3. So, in these three cases, for the same matter, nature of ligand do not affect the electronic arrangement in Splitted orbitals. Therefore, their magnetic behavior will not be affected by strong field ligand or weak field ligand when the same metal is present, right? Under these configuration. So, the configuration D1 and D2, the arrangements are fixed, whatever is the need. Now, let me consider the other arrangements, suppose next arrangement I have is D4. So let's say what will be the electronic arrangement of D4 if uh, delta is more and uh, if delta is less. Now this is the very important point here. Here delta not is formed which was, it is a weak field ligand. So four electrons are there. Filling will start definitely T2G will be filled in the starting because to give lower energy 1, 2, 3 now the question comes for the filling of fourth electron now there are two cases fourth electron to go in T2G but if it go in T2G it has to pair up fine or it can also go to EG suppose it goes to EG it uh, also uh, require energy because EG is in higher level. So in both cases, here it is called, in this case also energy is required called pairing energy. Because two electrons in one orbital, though with the opposite spin, but they also require some energy, fine. So this is called pairing energy and electron to go in EG is also requiring energy, fine. So we have to see that the case in which the less energy is required, electron will choose that particular arrangement, right? Now, it is very simple to answer here. If delta is more, and because the ligand is strong, if delta is more, then electron will not jump to EG, rather it will pair. Fine? So, you get this type of arrangement, and in this type of arrangement, total unpaired electron you will get is 2. If the arrangement is weak field, then in this case after filling of 3 the fourth electron will go in EG set of orbital because in this case this gap is very less here pairing energy is more than delta naught and here delta naught is more than the pairing energy so in case